Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Trade Ideas Live Trading Room Recap for Thursday, April the 5th. My name is Barry Anderson, moderator of your trading room. Any questions you may have for me, you can use this email address, a link to get into our free room. You don't have to be a member of Trade Ideas to be in our trading room. This is a subscription link, instant 15% off promo code when you click, when you uh, go to that uh, link. Just one second, please. All right, sorry about that. Uh, I had to take that phone call. Now I have to remember where I was. I think I was talking about the uh, subscription link. Okay, so 15% off uh, a subscription, either 15% off the first month, uh, remember, only the first month, or 15% off the, the whole year if you take out an annual. I typically open the room at about 9 a.m. Uh, Eastern time. That's when I start to share my screen. I get live in the mic at 9.05. I go to 3.30, Mondays to Thursdays, and 3 o'clock on Fridays. All right. Well, today was not like yesterday. <laughs> um, today, let me just uh, shrink this down. Yeah, today was not... Uh, just one second. That's what happens sometimes. You know, when you do these things, the charts uh, the charts tend to disappear. So I'm going to have to load up a new chart. It is tucked in behind. I don't feel like... Uh, so just bear with me a second here. If I can do it on the screen, get a little bit bigger without letting it disappear. Okay, and get the properties, get the symbol linking working. Okay, so we were looking at, uh, I had MRO on there. This is the one I'm, okay, this is the one that I was in. This is an oil play. Oils were very strong early. Uh, the market was pretty good early. Uh, but oils uh, seem to be leading the way. And so um, this is one that kind of caught my eye. I think Dusty in the room probably mentioned it also. But I looked at this one and I thought, okay, uh, take a look at it on the daily chart, first of all. You'll see what I was uh, looking at. So remember now, the, 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 it, it's, it's sitting right around there, breaking out of this. I look left. And I see a bit of room to 17. Okay, so uh, I ended up taking. Normally, I wouldn't have taken this trade because it's only 50 cents up. But I thought, okay, um, it is in the right sector. The oil sector was very, very strong. So I got into the trade at 16.50. Uh, I did take some out at 17, uh, 76. And just before I started the video, I took. I, I closed out my position at 16.80. We were really. Uh, waiting for this to see if it could uh, take out 17. I thought that 17 might be a little bit difficult, and it proved to be a little bit difficult. Uh, the SPY, you know, if you remember yesterday, I mean, this is, remember now, this pre-market action in the SPY, the SPY, or, well, the mar overall market was down about 500 points, uh, I think, in the pre-market, and then it rallied all day. Fantastic date for trading because, you know, so many people were, were looking at, uh, uh, picking up quote unquote bargains, you know, the ones that got, that were beaten down, what we call a gap down reversal. And so that worked vir virtually all day long, except for that little, little uh, pullback here, but it worked all day long. Today, we're a little bit different. The market started off uh, strongly in the pre-market, kind of did really nothing, had a pop, but it's it, it, it sort of meandered around, in other words. So it hasn't, it hasn't done something like this. Makes trading a little bit more difficult. Uh, here, there were so many to pick from, you know, things that literally got down and reversed. Here, it was a, had to be a little more selective. Uh, the one that drove me nuts was N NLCH. I got into this one twice. Actually, it's NCLH. NCLH, I got into this one twice. And... Turns out that I guess they did release earnings. We don't have this as an earnings play, but they did release earnings. And this was actually also from the Holly test server that I'm using, uh, or the Holly test version that I'm using. You see the alert was at 15.10. And I really, again, if I take a look at the daily chart, you know, I, I liked it because if I look left, I see there's room maybe to 56. I'm not saying it's going to get, I, you know, I, I never say it's going to get there, but at least I don't have to worry about chart, um, um, chart, excuse me, resistance. Uh, I don't have to worry about that. I just look left and I say, okay, I like this. So that is why I took that one. However, 
<laughs> got in the first time at what time? Uh, fifty-four eleven. So there was the alert fifty-four ten. I got it right about there. I think it moved up and then it moved down on me. I got out. I took a four cent loss on it. Like this action here, though, we call, we call this in the room uh, a red bar ignored. This is, you know, the trend is up. Three green candles in a row. You've got this uh, red candle totally engulfed by that previous uh, uh, green candle. The next candle, I was waiting for it to break the high of that red candle. It did. 54.24. I got into the trade at 54.26. Took the trade right here at 54, 20, well, 25, 26, right about here. And held on for a while. You know, it was still kind of chopping around. And all of a sudden, it zoomed up. And somebody said that uh, somebody was on uh, MSNBC. Actually, I am wrong. So just, 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 just so you know, I think, I think this, is, this is where it went up. That's right. And I was holding it. And then all of a sudden, it popped up here. And then it just came right back down. And so I basically exited the trade flat. And then no sooner did I get out and then it popped up again. But you can see that it's choppy. I mean, it's not like it just kept moving once it once it broke out this area. It is very choppy. I find it very difficult to trade. Uh, so, you know, out of that one. And I was in Mosaic. I, I got out of Mosaic just before I started this video. Uh, I took the trade right about here. Uh, is another one of the ones from the Holly 2.0, as I'm calling it, sort of the test version of Holly 2510. Um, the market started to move down. A lot of things were starting to move down, so I decided to get out of it. And let's see what else. That's really about it, uh, you know, compared to yesterday. Oh, MF, MFGP. MFGP. So this is a potential swing trade. Take a look at this. If you ever want to print out a chart, when I always talk about looking left on a daily chart to see uh, the void, well, this is probably, this could be the poster child for it. This had horrible news on whatever day that was, the, uh, let's see, March the 19th. Horrible news it has really done nothing, you know. Now, finally today, it broke out a little bit. So, Tom P., one of our uh, subscribers in the room, he pointed this out to the room and, of course, to me. And I loved it. I mean, you know, this, this fits all the characteristics of a potential swing. Um, you know, have a tremendous, you have a great void gap looking left. It is uh, the 200-day moving average. I don't even have it here. And I don't know why we don't. I think it has, uh, to, to be honest, I don't know why it's not here. But somebody said it was about 28. So don't have to worry about that. Um, earnings, earnings are nowhere, nowhere, soon, nowhere near soon. So... My only thing is, if, it, if it, uh, it has to close near the high of the day. Now, you know, it's starting to give it up a little bit, so we'll have to see if I really am going to hold it. But I am in this one at 15, uh, what is that, 15.08, I think. Yeah, 15.08. Wait, so got in just uh, as it broke over 15. And as I say, we'll have to, I'll have to see if I'm going to hold it. Uh, you know, I mean, look, if it gets back to where I bought it, I'll definitely get it. I can always get back in. I mean, that has such a tremendous void that, you know, if I give up 15 or 20 cents by getting back in at a higher level, it's not the end of the world. All right, that is about it. I want to get back into the room, see, see what's happening. So I'm going to close this down, bring back the capture program. So any questions for me, here's the email address to use, uh, free link to our, or the link to our free trading room. This is the link for a subscription. And I'll open the room tomorrow at about 9 o'clock Eastern Time. That's when I'll start to share my screen. And get live on the mic at about 9.05. So hope everybody has a great evening. And we'll see you in the trading room tomorrow. Bye-bye.